How's it going, guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse, and we are back at it with Jared Ward. And Jared, today we are talking running shoes. We've talked about some of your favorites in the past, but now it's 2022, and we got a lot of exciting shoes in front of us. I want to hear your whole shoe lineup, starting off with the workhorse. What do we have? Well, this is the Triumph. This is uh, day in, day out cushioning. And I actually really like the Triumph 20, lighter foam, a little bit more energy return. Um, it's a it's a new experience and I've always liked the Triumph for cushioning um, but this one just has a little bit more of a poppy feel so um, loving this new Triumph I will agree when you look on the side it's got that power run plus designation but it's a completely new foam a lot more lively and I, I think that's gonna be a sleeper this year really really comfortable with that little extra pop but moving on to the next shoe I heard this is kind of a staple shoe for you as that endorphin kind of daily trainer. What do we have here? Yeah, so I love the shift, right? This is, and I feel like this shoe was really uh, creative in that it took some of the properties of racing shoes, namely the, the shape of it that changes the running mechanics and put it into a high cushioned trainer really to me and so I you know I use this shoe quite a bit and and have integrated it more and more into my lineup as I use it to prepare my mechanics for what I see when I'm in the faster racing shoes um, it's got the speed roll technology and, and it's just a little bit more assertive I'm a heel striker but when I'm in this shoe I'm I'm almost a midfoot striker yeah it's a very smooth shoe wide base so very stable but there's another new stability shoe that I think is really gonna kind of change the game. Very innovative properties. We've got the new Tempest. Is this a shoe that you've ran in so far? Yes, yeah, and I do like it. And, and you're right that, you know, the, the Shift is a neutral shoe, but with a wide enough base and a little bit of this backing that you almost get a little bit of guidance in it. So I'm finding that neutral runners like, like it, but also those that want some mild stability are liking it. This is just kind of next level up for stability, but includes some of the foam that we're seeing in the higher end shoes. So a lot of cushioning here and using foam as the stability. So, you know, instead of having this firm post in there that doesn't really move around the foam, now we're using multiple types of foam with different um, tensions and so you get the cushioning and then we're just using a foam that has a slightly stiffer tension for the stability so this is really cool I, I feel like this is dynamic stability in that if you don't need any stability you can run in it and if you need some stability you can run in it and I think it kind of you know it's just gonna be that shoe that guides a lot of people right where they need to be and I love it I feel a lot of energy return from it and um, it's light like I mean you, you never run in a stability shoe this light no and uh, anyway I, and I like the colorway campfire yeah this, this is a cool shoe you can't go wrong with the shoe and really stability <laughs> shoes for a long time have been the same you know like you said you've got those firm medial posts and it's just always been bulky heavy now we've got a new shoe that I think a lot of stability runners are gonna shift to but now we got to go to a little bit faster days endorphin speed. Is this a shoe you use? Yes. Workout days, racing, what, what are you using this for? Yeah, you know, some long runs, right? So I, I like spending my long run um, sometimes down here in the shift, sometimes in some, depending on how I'm feeling and training. When I'm ready to get after a long run, I wanna be in this shoe. The plate's not quite as stiff as what I'm racing in, but uh, but it's a fast shoe. And so I really love this for those, you know, even sometimes on those those easy run days where I wake up in the morning and I'm like, yeah, you know, I feel kind of good. I'm gonna go a little bit. Um, it's just a shoe that can go with you and uh, kind of bridges, I would say bridges that gap for me between what I wanna be racing in and what I wanna be training in. Yeah, and version three got kind of a complete new design a little bit more inherently stable, but still very fast, very light. I think this is gonna be a shoe that I'll continue to use. And I even found using this for some of my daily training. It, it's just that plate, you get the pop, but it's just a little bit more flexible. So yeah, you're, you not, you're not gonna feel the the underfoot pressure quite as much, yeah. which, which I think is, is something that we need to adjust to, right? They, these shoes are very different from what all of us were running in six years ago. And so it helped bridge in the gap. And the final shoe we're gonna talk about today, when you're going peak race day pace, 
We've got the shoe that you have tested, you've worn, you've proven is one of the fastest shoes in the game. What do we have? Well, the Norvin Pro, right? And we're here in the lab. You can see, you know, all the all the shoes behind us. You know, we've gone through a lot of prototypes in this shoe, um, experimenting with the shape of the shoe, the foam, the plate, the position of the plate, the type of plate, um, and and I'm so excited about this shoe. You know, Connor, this is, um, you know, this is pushing the boundaries on on what we're allowed to race in as professional runners with World Athletics, getting the stack height all the way up, um, more energy return out of the foam. I'm running more efficient. We test that here in the lab. I'll put a big mask on and uh, we measure you know, how much oxygen my body demands when I'm running at marathon pace, and I'm demanding less oxygen in this shoe. So, so some marked performance improvements over the two. It's, it's more cushioning, more stack height, more energy return, and somehow lighter. Yeah. So. Well, I know you're excited. I'm very excited. We just got a workout in today, and I think it helped me stay up with you a little bit longer than I should have, but we've got kind of the full lineup here. Daily training, workout day, race day. Sockney really has a shoe for every single runner. I think we've seen some really great shoes in the past couple years, but 2022 might be the best year to date from Sockney. If you're looking to get any of these shoes on your feet, run like Jared Ward. You can find them now <laughs> here at Running Warehouse.